Hello and welcome to My Security TV and our Tech and Sec Weekly. My name is Chris Cubbage. I'm the executive editor with My Security Media, and today is a tangible uplift. It's a Women in Security Program 2022 being run out of here in New South Wales, and we're going to be joined by Nivedita Nawar, otherwise Nivi, and Raven David. And I'm going to just uh, title their uh, titles here. They're both with the University of New South Wales, Head of Cybersecurity Strategy and Governance and Cybersecurity Governance and Risk Manager. And you'll see a range of partners uh, there in the background, and we're proud to be media partners with this particular program. So without further ado, here is Nivi and Raven. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you for the beautiful introduction. Great, very good. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for having us. Um, and the other thing is uh, the audience, uh, you'll see the certifications there for each of you and uh, anyone who's been watching us, we just did some interviews with Isaka as well and highly certified uh, interviewees they were as well. And I'm a member of Isaka and the Isaka Sydney chapter. Nivi, uh, we're proud to be media partners with this. Maybe walk us through. We're obviously trying to target uh, women who are interested in cybersecurity or in the field, uh, and it's a certification program. So over to you and maybe the background as well. Yeah, absolutely. So I have been doing a lot of research on how to um, pragmatically uplift the state of women um, and their competence and their numbers in the cybersecurity industry. So there's been a lot of uh, work or collaborative good work going on in the industry already to uh, provide mentorship, but I felt like there was a little bit of a gap where there was nothing tangible that was delivered. Yeah. And uh, when uh, I was interviewed by a University of Queensland professor who was studying on the same subject, and um, I explained to him the current state of women in the industry. And he asked me the question, uh, okay, so how are you gonna solve the problem? And that got me thinking. From there, uh, this idea was born uh, on how could I, with the limited capability that we have in terms of knowledge and competence, contribute back to the society and um, give something meaningful, valuable, uh, like a piece of paper, that can yep. they can use and they can um, ensure that there is credibility associated with it when uh, they are hired. And also the research that we were doing also found that hiring managers are biased towards certifications when they look at it, or at least it influences their decision. Well, it also, it's a learning process as well with the certifications uh, as well. And Raven, your thoughts here and, and maybe your role as well uh, in terms of supporting this. And we'll have a bit of a chat about certifications because I think you're right, Nivi, you can do all the mentoring, you know, and you get women confident and in, in the roles and often there's some transitions uh, involved. But then, you know, how does that change their, their resume, so to speak, and their body of knowledge uh, as well? So yeah, Raven, your thoughts in this area as well? Look, when uh, Nivi tapped me on the shoulder and said, you know, I've got this idea around tangible uplift. And I said, yeah, you know, what's this idea about? And when I started to unpack what it is she was trying to do, I've got to say, I was genuinely impressed and genuinely so behind what's, what she's trying to do. I think it's absolutely going to be a monumental shift in what we can see in the industry. I would definitely say there is a lack in, in diversity. I know that from having the last 15 years in IT and cyber, we could certainly benefit from some diversity. Um, and and I, can, I can totally get behind the objective here. Something like CISM definitely will help anybody in this space and particularly women that want to dive into this area, that want to seek some validation of confidence that they're really looking to see whether they understand the content, understand the discipline, and CISM is a great place to, to kick that off. And what an awesome opportunity to be involved in a community that's gonna provide insights from so many years of experience. The amount of partners that are involved in this program collectively probably have upwards of 100 years of experience in this domain. So you can bet that all these individuals are going to pour in all that experience into anybody that's kind of joining on this program. And those individuals can then take that learning on, 
kick off the, the exam, get such a great validation that they've achieved this goal and, it, and, and it'll no doubt kick them off into, into a career trajectory that's going to just set them up for life. So I know personally, my own experience when I attained these certificates or any certificates, it's such a rewarding feeling. It's such a feeling of affirmation that, you know, yes, I can do it. Yes, I am that good. And I'm going to go and get another one. It's, yeah. I, was it's, gonna, it's, I was literally, that was going to be my next question. You both have fallen into the certification trap in many respects, despite working for a university too, which is uh, somewhat ironic. There's always a bit of a, a competition uh, between those. And But I, I referred to a body of knowledge earlier. I think it is that body of knowledge. But yeah, you've both fallen into the trap and I've seen it so many times where, okay, you get one and it's that you set yourself that challenge and you it's really about setting a goal, isn't it? Uh, of learning and and continuing uh, your professional development. Nibi? Yeah, yeah, I agree. So it's not more about the certification itself. It's the yeah. journey that you go through and the learning that and the knowledge that you gain and the confidence that you gain through the process. You might as well go and get certified because you've done so much. So, but that's not the objective. The objective is learning and continuous learning um, has always, always been beneficial for um, people that are aspiring to be leaders and uh, the sustainability of that leadership position as well yeah. is very important. For instance, we are moving to the cloud and uh, both Raven and I focused on certifications in the cloud space genuinely because we wanted to keep abreast of what's going on so that mm -hmm. we can direct and lead our teams in the right direction um, from a management and leadership perspective. And there's a whole new learning there as well. Anyone who's been in the industry for a while, you know, it's applying the same principles, but in different environments and different architecture as well. Uh, and I love that word validation. I think that's what a certification provides. It's a validation of knowledge. Uh, you still have to learn along the way and you will learn, but it's the validation. Uh, you've gone with the CISM, the certifi Certified uh, Information Systems Manager. And or is that in, uh, maybe explain why you went with CISM. There's a range of different options. And yep. I think, again, this is for ISACA, and I mentioned I'm a ISACA member. And uh, yeah, why did you go? Why did you choose CISM, uh, and what's the process that they're going to need to go through? Absolutely. So uh, this program is specifically targeted towards women that want to move up uh, from their current position to a leadership or management position. So um, something like CISM gives a broad perspective and sets their mindset towards thinking like an information security manager or uh, one of the highest level of executives uh, in security in a business. So, and also it is very broad in terms of uh, the functional components that are composed within the content. So it also, when women from other industries or non-technical backgrounds want to enter this, um, uh, the security world, they it gives them a perspective on where they should sit or what pathways they should choose. Um, whereas if they take any technical certification, it's very s specific. The other thing is it's, um, I wouldn't say it's hard, but the time frame it takes to take the certification is shorter than something like CISSP. So we, yeah. a lot of research and study went into this whole process and we compared the CISSP and CISM and uh, it was best suited for these women. And even in terms of salaries, the average salary for CISM is higher than CISSP nice. and the average time that it takes to, um, achieve or obtain a CIS, CISM certification is less and it's um, kind of more um, adaptable to uh, the kind of profiles that we are targeting. They are not specifically technical. So the next step is technical. So we've actually through this program, this is a movement. The next step, we are offering the CompTIA technical um, courses uh, where we are offering waivers for them so, to embark into the next journey. I really like that, that you have, have put some thought through. You haven't just picked out a cert and uh, and gone with it. There's there's thinking behind that and the research. And uh, we'll mention the partners. So we've got Sea Audit, IT uh, Masters, ISACA, Sydney Chapter, ASA, Cyber Risk Meetups, uh, My Security Media, and the Australian Cyber Security Magazine, and Cyan as well. So it really does get across the whole community. 
Uh, the numbers, uh, Raven, I don't know, but I, maybe back to Nivi Toom on the numbers that you're targeting and the uptake just in the last few days has been great anyway. So it looks like you're going to exceed that target. What, yeah, what are you trying already. to achieve? Um, so like I said, this is not a training program. This is a movement. So I'm trying to start up, kick off a global movement to show the world that uh, this kind of a model where an individual that is uh, knowledgeable enough and is confident enough to give back to the community can bring all these forces together. And this model can be replicated or adopted by any other community or any other country to um, to uplift certain cohorts. It could be men, it could be women um, and uh, uplift their profiles. So it aims at these women that we are recruiting, which is 50 at, at the moment because of time constraints and as well as the zone um, and, uh, you know, how much we can accommodate within um, one one session. It's limited to 50. We already already got about 38 responses in two days, which means women women are being brave. So these women are ambassadors and catalysts. At the end of this entire program, these women will uh, be kind of leading the industry and other aspiring women can see these women being successful and then become more confident that they can do it as well. And Raven, the process you go through, any any tips or tricks uh, in the certification process that you think there is a, uh, a methodology to sometimes uh, running through the, the exams and studying for them as well? Uh, yeah, what advice would you give uh, before we close off today? Yeah, look, I think going into it with the right attitude is important, knowing that you have a can-do attitude. The other thing is a lot of good planning needs to be involved. So if you know exactly what your target is for when you want the certification, set that goal for yourself and set it around your lifestyle, not just your work lifestyle, but your personal lifestyle as well. So something that fits within your time frames, if you, you know, picking up the kids uh, from school at a certain time or dropping them off, then how can you pick, how can you block that time away and set your time in your diary so that you make sure you, you, you know, you put in the hours to study. There's oodles of resources that you'll definitely tap into as part of this program as well. And, and definitely, uh, you know, look at those and make sure you're, you're well across those. And the only other thing I'd say is really important is, is buddying up with someone from a study perspective to bounce ideas around some of the exam questions because they can get a little interesting. But um, the program, this program that Nivi is leading is definitely incorporating all those things that I was talking about. So you could take advantage of that. Great. Well, it's tangibleuplift.wixsite.com. We'll have it. It's on the bottom of the screen, and I'll I'll put that up there as well. It'll be in the show notes. Um, and the last one, I suppose, Nivi, let's start. Let's finish off on the schedule, and then the final call to action. Uh, how is this going to be run? This is all going to be looking like it's going to conclude by November. Yes, that's right. It's a six month process. It's not an easy certification. So to uh, practice. Um, the entire process of exam taking, there is a rigorous three to four month um, time frame, and that kicks off uh, on the 1st of July. Before that, from 1st of June to 1st of July, um, the participants will go through a IT master's training so that they are across, they've read up theoretically what it is, and then we will um, go into this preparatory mode and uh, we will use a lot of gamification in this. So basically everybody would be going through that um, Kahoot or quizzes type of uh, question answer rounds and they will all do it together. There will be a scoreboard and it will be like a competition. And after that is done, uh, we will be discussing the right answers and the wrong answers and how to think like a CISO or a head of security or an information security officer. Very good. Well, look, uh, I've got no doubt you're going to hit your numbers. I think the end of the day is setting itself the challenge to pass uh, and get certified and follow it all the way through. And I think as you two show, uh, once you do one, uh, it's a little bit of a little bit of addiction, uh, but also that professional uh, professional development uh, as you continue on. Uh, and I think you're both great examples there looking at your certifications uh, on screen. 
uh, once uh, you've got three or four, I think you really do demonstrate uh, and verify as we came back to uh, a good body of knowledge. So uh, Nevi Noir and Raven David uh, representing the Tangible Uplift uh, with Women in Security Program 2022. Uh, check out the website, register through and uh, be one of these participants on this special program. So thank you very much for today. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thanks, Raven. Thank you.